Okay guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com and in today's video I just want to walk you through briefly how to use AdWords new 2018 keyword planner. Um, the entire thing is different. They've redid not only just this, obviously you're seeing right now the AdWords interface, but the keyword planner is completely redone too. And there's some cool features you can do with it. So I kind of just want to walk you through how to use the keyword planner to find keywords, to build out ad groups, and how to find negative keywords using the keyword planner. So with that said, let's just get right into it. If you're in your AdWords account, you come up here to Tools, go to Keyword Planner. If you click that, it's going to take you right to this page, and you can start digging into finding your keywords, or you can get forecasts. So let's do forecasts first. And let's just say in this example, we're doing a plumbing company in Philadelphia. So that keyword is telling us, here's all data average cost per click it's kind of forecasting what you know how, how your campaign should run but I don't really mess around with forecast too much so if we if we actually wanted to back up and go kind of gives you some data here on the keywords you drop in so that's something you can play around with is the forecast go so if you're if you're into that go for it but first things first, I'm going to show you how to find keywords. So we're going to put in a root keyword of our AdWords campaign. So the campaign we're building is Philadelphia Plumbing Campaign. So our root keyword is going to be Plumbing Campaign. I'm sorry, Plumbing, plumbing Company. <laughs> Losing it today. Get results. Okay. So this is telling us, Google's telling us that all these keywords are relevant to our root keyword, which is Plumbing Company. Which is fine. But obviously, we, if we're building out keywords in a plumbing company ad group, so let's open up our Google Sheets doc. We're going to build our ad groups. Let's just call it plumbing company. And our first ad group is the ad group plumbing company. So in this ad group, <clears throat> we're going to only have keywords that have to do with plumbing company or companies. And our ads are going to be all about plumbing company. So go to a landing page that talks about plumbing company, with the, like the plumbing company that we're marketing all right very important that everything is in sync if your ad group theme is plumbing company then the keywords have to be about plumbing company the ads have to be about plumbing company and the landing page has to as well biggest lesson I can give you right there it's the most important thing so to find only company keywords what you're gonna do is come over to filter and you're gonna throw a filter on and tell Google only show me keywords that have the words plumbing and company in them And then you're just going to start grabbing them, dropping them in your, your doc here, and building out your keywords under your plumbing company ad group. Or you can start choosing them like this. Let's say these are all keywords you want to add and you want to build out your ad groups in the actual keyword planner. You can create a plan. So you see we just hit add to plan. We're just dropping keywords in here, and it's giving us data, estimated data, I should say, on uh, clicks, impressions, stuff like that in our location. But that's for another time. For this video, I'm just going to touch on how to find keywords, build ad groups, etc. So let's say we've done that. We, all right, we're good. We're happy. We got our plumbing, our plumbing keywords for our plumbing ad group, plumbing company ad group. We want to build more ad groups. All right. So first thing we have to do. is go back out to um, erase our filter. We don't want plumbing company, we want the uh, root keyword again, so it's gonna show us everything. So we're just gonna start finding ad group themes out of these keywords. So we have an ad group for plumbing services. We have an ad group for emergency plumber. We have an ad group for plumber near me. 24 hour plumber that's its own ad group and so on and so forth and you're just going to comb through going down the list this is very time consuming but this is honestly the most thorough way to build out your ad groups that you'll have the most success with and it's very very important that you do this direct the correct way so that's what we're going to do you comb through build out your ad groups so let's say we're all done we have 25 30 ad groups whatever and now it's time to go in and start finding keywords for each ad group so let's say we're looking for emergency plumber we're going to do what I just showed you before. We're going to throw a filter on for each ad group, keyword text. 
contains emergency plumber and we're just going to start adding our keywords into our Google Doc for our ad groups all right so that's really it it's really that simple that's how you build out that's how you build out ad groups in uh, that's how you find keywords and build out ad groups using the keyword planner now if you want to find negative keywords it's pretty much exactly the same thing you would just add a column negative keywords and remember we're going after our root keyword which is plumbing company and you're just gonna start scrolling through and finding because these are keywords that Google says is relevant to your theme which is plumbing company so we're gonna start combing through and finding non-relevant things we don't want in our campaign aka negative keywords so rooter see we don't want rooter faucet leaky faucet so we just take faucet because that's the root those are small jobs sinks that's another one that I saw in there these are keywords we want we don't we want Google, Google not to show our ads for because they're small tier jobs so it's not there's no point to pay you know five or six dollars for a click and it's for a thirty dollar faucet repair job you know what I mean because it's obviously you're not going to get a lead for every click but it can add up pretty quickly so that's really it. That's how you find negative keywords. You're just going to keep scrolling down and just looking and see what Google's suggesting for you. And you're going to add to your negative list. Let me just see if I can find another good one. I like Mr. Plumber. I think that's a brand. So that's something that we don't want. Another one we don't want would be product. People searching for products for drain unclogging stuff, anything like that. <clears throat> so that's it. That's how you build out your ad groups. That's how you find your negative keywords. That's how you fill your ad groups with relevant keywords. Remember, the biggest takeaway from this video when, when using the Keyword Planner is to structure your ad groups so that the ad group theme has themed keywords, themed ads, and goes to a theme landing page. That's the most important part about running AdWords campaigns. And again, you can come in here and play around with adding these keywords into a plan, create a plan, and then you can download the plan and, and, uh, or create a campaign straight out of here with it if you wanted to do that. So you can build out your ad groups and everything in Keyword Planner and then uh, create a campaign. I just personally don't like doing it that way, but there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. I just, I, I'm old school. I like what I like and uh, I don't really mess around with it, but that's definitely something you guys can play with. So if you wanted to do that, we'd say that's... So you're finding ad group. So ad group one would be plumbing company. All right. Ad group two, plumbing repair. Ad group three, plumbing contractor. All right. So let's say you have three ad groups you want to do, and you want to add keywords into each one. Next up, you will go into keywords. Let's say plumbing repair. Remember, we'll throw a filter on. All right. You can choose the match type you want to add them as. Add to plan. Now if we go back over to ad groups, we should have our keywords underneath the plumbing repair. And this is how you can build out your ad groups. And um, you can even do negative keywords like this too. And then if say you build out, you go through and you build out a ton of them in here. All you would do then is go to create campaign and it will walk you through setting up your campaign. And that's really it. So that there's some really cool stuff that the keyword planner has. And I, su I highly suggest you guys all just play around with as much of it as you can. And um, let me know in the comments if you guys actually build campaigns using, but actually, if you actually build the campaigns inside of Keyword Planner, because I'm, I'm interested. But um, besides that, make sure if you guys like this video that you subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments or questions, anything like that, drop them below in the comment section. 
And um, check out the links in the description. I put some cool stuff in there for you guys. Other than that, I will catch you in the next video. And good luck using the Keyword Planner.